The symptoms of breast cancer can be sometimes very obvious, a lump in the breast, a newly appearing lump, particularly in an older woman. But at other times, there can be slightly strange symptoms, perhaps some discomfort, a sense of unease, maybe even a painful area in the breast, or a nipple discharge, or change in the contour of the skin, or the shape or color of the skin. Anything that looks different for that individual woman in her breast is something that we as physicians should pay attention to and investigate. So a woman who presents to me with a problem in her breast, I need to be very careful to take a full history from her and to carefully examine and just check what's going on. But that's not sufficient. We also need the help of our colleagues in radiology to do images of the breast, mammograms, soft tissue x-rays that is, ultrasound, and sometimes magnetic resonance imaging of the breast. In addition, we need to know if there is a solid lump or an area in question in the breast. We need to try and take a sample from that and ask the pathologists to look at it under the microscope. So there's actually quite a complex process which we try and reduce to taking a very few hours and ensure that a woman who comes to us not knowing what is wrong in the breast will leave having the certainty that either there's nothing of concern or if she does have breast cancer that she's in good hands and we're going to care for her. So for many women there's a choice as to whether surgery should come first or whether perhaps some drug therapy should come first to try and downstage or shrink the cancer that she has in her breast. And in many instances, on a very personal basis, we may opt for drug treatment first and surgery as a backup plan, and maybe add in radiation therapy at a later date to try and give the most comprehensive treatment and the best chances for a long-term successful outcome. There are really two main options. One is to do what I would term a lumpectomy, which is removing the lump itself with a rim of normal tissue around it, but leaving most of the breast behind. And then the other main option is a mastectomy, where all the breast is removed. Now on an individual patient basis, it depends on the size of the lump relative to the size of the breast. It depends on how technically feasible it is to do each operation. And above all, it depends on what that individual patient, that individual woman would prefer if she has a choice between the two.